gonna be? Do you think your future? I don't is know, right? but one thing scares that scares me is I feel like when I get older, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, that teacher was 95 when I was in when I was in her class. She's probably dead now. For some reason, that just terrifies me. That like I'm talking to someone who's gonna be dead in a couple years. Not a couple, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah, right now, my teachers, teachers are, are dead. Than me. Your teachers are fried. Mom, your teachers are fried. They're seared. Doesn't that scare you, Mom? N no. They're I know, dead. I know. Your teachers are dead, Mom. They're dead. That scares me. Mom, your teachers are dead. There's all of them not dead. They're, they're six feet under, Mom. Or the 98. Mom, your teachers are dead. <laughs> and whatever, and that's going to be me going like this. Oh, my God. My teacher's dead. Is all my... Miss Doherty? From Elmish School? She's probably already dead. I, no, like, she didn't need it. But she's she was very old. How old was she? Like, she was... Like... I didn't know whether I was, like, at school or out of the nursing home down the street. Like, it was... <laughs> that's how old she was. I promise. <laughs> she was old. There is... How like, old was she? Did she tell you her age? Like, she didn't... If she didn't like, tell she had her, you can't be like, dead. that's how old she was. I pr like, she had white, si like, silver hair. Like, she was hobbled. What's hobbled? Like, she was hobbled. Like, she had borderline dementia. Like, she, I promise. Like, she was really old. And I was in elementary school. She's definitely way retired now. She asked me, and she used to live down the street. And I have a feeling she moved out. She used to live down the street from us. Did you look and see if she's there? I might go over her house and knock. And see what happens. And oh, she but she really didn't always try me. I'll have an incident, but that's all I remember. She always just tried me on the school, and I wasn't the one. I wasn't the one then. I wasn't the one now. And I won't be the one. What's up, my lovelies? You guys, today, Darius has Panera Bread, and I have Qdoba. So, we're going to get to praying and get it started. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. So, y'all, I got a big, huge size. I have a nice, delicious, uh, very nice, what is it? Mm, baguette. Um, for some reason, she's really soft today. Like, she's soft. Y'all, I got this big old huge burrito. That's what I got. This bad boy. Mm. This bad boy is so huge, I can't even hold it. Let's do a mm. thumbnail. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's do a thumbnail. It's weird that I just took a bite of bread. Just Should I just do with the bread? I, I will think the sandwich there is. Ugh, don't want to mess you her up. You just bit that sandwich, mm -hmm. that bread. It's kind of good. By itself? Yeah. Ugh. No, I don't like my face when I do these. I'm always going. <laughs> Whatever. That's probably good. No. Let me try here. Oh, mom, look. You can't deny. Look at. Look at the cheese coming out of her. Everyone, okay. I got a. Put it in front of her face. It kind of worked. Oh, it also always wants to get me. <laughs> Um, so I'm giving you the regular, you know, it is, oh, she's very heavy, I just realized. Chicken avocado melt. Now, new today, I added on a bit of Swiss cheese. And I gave you a little bit of, I gave you a sauce variety, so I'm going to say. Gave you a nice, um, jalapeno cilantro. Um, I think I gave you a chipotle mayo, if they have that. I don't know if that was it. Mm -hmm. And then I have something else on there. I don't remember. But all I know she's going to be scrumptious, especially with the Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese makes anything taste good. I just love Swiss cheese. Mm. Mm. So, how much was your meal? Hmm? How much was your meal? Well, everything total. This, this, my baguette, this large drink. I'm not drinking that. Oh. It's the passion fruit thing Three. that I also, I think it's tea, I don't mm -hmm. know. But I also added, they have this like agave, mm, do I have it right? Agave, like the lemonade mm -hmm. one, it's like a light pale, like yellow. She's killing it too. And I realized, because she was in the sidelines, she used to be stagehands. She used to be stagehand. She set up like she did the set like the scenes like she 
set up, but she was never in the show. So when I was looking at the the brochure. I was like, oh, like she's the main character, you know, the uh, the passion fruit, whatever. She's the main character, so I've said who she was. Hmm. No, what's the main character? For what? The main character is the um the passion fruit, but the one I usually get. But then I was flipping through the um the playbill, and I realized, and all the way in the back. There was this girl, she was killing it. But she was just in stage hands, she was stage crew. So, I put her in here too. Whatever. She's giving me a tart lemon. Anyway, I also got a cinnamon roll, which I didn't know they had, and I bet you when I heat this up, she's gonna be killing it. How much did it all cost? It was about $13.79. How much is yours? Mmm, -hmm. 17. And mine is scrumptious. Mine's 17, but I got a nacho over here too, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's real good. Mm. All of that in there. That's a huge burrito. I love broccoli and cheddar. And they oh, killed it with good. this sandwich. They always kill it. This is the best one there. What time is that? You got avocado. Uh, chicken avocado melt or something mm. like that. They give me an a lot of avocado. And it's mm -hmm. kind of hitting. I usually don't like avocado. But this sandwich is delicious. I have. This is a ground beef burrito, y'all. I don't have rice on here. I have beans on here. Pinto beans. Uh, I do not have rice. Mm. Yeah. I don't like rice. I didn't go for Qdoba today because I really don't. I like Qdoba better than Chipotle. Don't kill me. They're going to come for me. Mm. But mm -mm. That, all that burrito, all that big eating, all that, like, it's very heavy. It's not me. You think you healthy, yeah? Cause you eat banana. Yeah, I'm just saying. Um, no, but I really don't like like eating burritos like that. And I will get a nacho, but I feel like mm -hmm. it's very one thing. I like variety of things. It's good. Have a thing. It's but it's good. just like I would normally get that um queso thing. But oh, I yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Falling off the sides. It's delicious. People probably think that we sponsor Panera. It's mm -hmm. just, I'm a stand. Mm. I stand Panera. Oh my gosh, she's killing it on the bottom too. She's giving me a, a blue, blue burnt crust. You need to call it PR team. Mm -hmm. mm. It ain't that serious, now. <laughs> Jerry, it ain't even that serious. Mm. Mm. Horrible acting. The Roma tomatoes. I'm here. I just want tomatoes in this. It's like a chili. You need to dip your bread in that. I don't eat the bread. No. I don't really want to eat that bread. That's what I'm talking about. This chili is very flavorful. It's, it packs a nice punch. Not spicy. But it's just a very... Mm -hmm. oh, that's chicken on there? Mm-hmm. Mm. For some reason, this time... Um, this time, the last time I had this sandwich, mm -hmm. it's been like the best, and it keeps on getting better. Like, this is delicious. Like, it's so flavorful. I'm running you too. Mm mm. I want to be able to eat a whole one. Mm mm. I was thinking about it, but you know, avocado makes you full. Mm hmm. It always does. I don't know what it's about. It does make you full. Mm. 
You must not like heating them up. Heating what up? Yeah. Why? Because you can just save the other half. Oh. Mm -hmm. I never tried it. But knowing mm. Panera, I probably would eat, heat it up. Mm -mm. But like, don't you feel less prestigious than me because I'm eating Panera and you're not? Mm. Susan. Did you drop the kids off at daycare? Mm. Really, there is. Brunch tomorrow? 12? What? Okay, right. Uh, Are you saying that q double? Mm -mm. No, you're not. So, my q double costs more than you, so. Yeah. Say what you will. You got a lot more food, which makes me feel more prestigious. I mean, whatever. Give me my water. I can't. Thank you. Mm. I told you. I'll come from Erin. It is good. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Not on my watch. <laughs> It's delish. That cinnamon roll is gonna be delicious. I promise. Are you gonna eat that? Mm-hmm. Right now? Mm-hmm. Who me? You guys have to get this meal. Get the pick two. Get the cup of soup. broccoli and cheddar soup. Get the chicken. Avocado melt thing sandwich, the half sandwich, and then all you have to do is add Swiss cheese and add whatever sauces you want because they're all free. All the sauces are free. All right. Mm hmm. And it turns the flavor up. And they have so so many like different weird like sauces that are like delicious. Like they have cilantro jalapeno, like jalapeno cilantro. That's delicious. They used to try for everything in that store. Hmm. I'm shocked. What? I use a charge for everything. No, no, everyone gets Panera bad rap just because they're giving you fresh food. Now, yeah. what do you want? No. I was looking for napkins. Mmm. 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 It was good. I like the new queso at, at Qdoba. That new queso? Mm hmm. And spicy and regular. Don't you feel heavy? Mm mm. Oh. Do you feel light? Satisfied. Right. Mm mm. Now, if you eat that um, cinnamon roll. Now, I'm going to be mad if she's not what I think he is. And then I'll, I'll take her there all the way down. I brought her up. I can bring her back down. I started it, and I'm going to end it. Whatever. I brought you in this world, and I can take you out. Whatever. <laughs> I hate who try to pull that. Well, I'm ending it. Hmm? But I say, you started it. And I hmm. said, well, I'm ending it. Mm-hmm. I brought you in this world and I can take you out. Mm-hmm. There's something about their chat like their cheese is just like a, a little bit of hint of chili. Mmm. Naturally like that. Like a little bit of spice. That's what I meant. Chile. I don't know what you say. Mm. Mm, what you mean here? I need a napkin. Where are we going to get down? I 
I got enlarged this time. Because I wanted to experience. Who put a lemon in there? Me. <laughs> oh my god, let's say you know I was trying it. I said, mm -hmm. I said, I just want to dash a lemon. Like I'm a. I said, I wanted a, a squirt of lemon. So I just put a little, a, a tad, a fresh lemon in there. Fresh squeezed lemon. So. I was wondering. That's another reason why I stay in Panera. They provide with napkins. There, yeah, well, give me a napkin. You want one of these? Give me a napkin, boy. Now. I'm going to go heat up my thing. That bag by itself costs $3. Okay. See? Now that's a lot. Panera, Panera is not that see what bag I'm talking about, y'all? Show me a bag. They give me a nice sturdy bag. It's not a reusable bag. Yes, it is. Somebody will take that and put their lunch in it for next tomorrow. Now, what I don't like about Panera, or it's kind of a pros and cons thing. They're very, like, just open. Like free, like they just think that the, they're careless. Like they just think that the world is just a really good place. Like when you walk in, like, they don't care about like they don't care no. about anything. Like their cups to get like soda is just out by the door. Anybody can walk in while everyone's distracted and say whoop, 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 and go fill up a nice pop and walk out and they won't. I promise they won't bat an eye. What another thing is with the rapid rapid pickup when you order online. Mm -hmm. When you order online, and you, they just put it out by the tables where people eat. And all you do is come in, and you pick up your order and you leave. So if I order online, I don't have to talk to an associate, anybody at all. I can literally go in there and take my food without seeing anybody. Mm. I could be a random and say, well, I guess I'm eating Susan's meal. Well, I'm not going to eat all this. Okay, now, let's see. Now, she's big. Now, let me tell you what the issue was. I was ordering this on the kiosk. Also, you can order on the kiosk. And another thing. Why would you do that when you're inside the store? Because sometimes it's harder to talk to a person. It's just easy to go boop, boop, boop. Order is done. Whatever. And then you swipe a card on the thing. It's just a lot easier. Whatever. So. Another issue that I had was when I was ordering this, all the other pastries were like two dollars, a dollar ninety or a dollar fifty, three dollars, whatever. And mine was only ninety nine cents, and I don't know how to feel. Like it's it's kind of bigger than the other items. Like I just don't know. Like wouldn't you be concerned? It's not like I'm like oh it's not expensive enough for me, but it's kind of like why is ninety nine cents? Like why is everything else three dollars? So you thought it was cheap. Yeah, like, I'm just wondering. I'm just questioning. Like, I don't care. But it's type of question. Like, it's so big. And I just want to know why it's 99 cents. Like, doesn't that make you question the quality of it? Like, everything else is $3. Like, and up. Because maybe they can't get... Yeah. Oh, she's soft, too. A lot of people that come in there, they probably don't, um, back up like that. What she's made yesterday, that's what she's <laughs> What she's made yesterday. And they said, we need to get rid of these. 99 cents. They got the time on it. Time stop. No, it doesn't. Okay. No. no, but they tell me when I bought my order. Kiosk to go. Order number 910. One of one. D Gaskin. Order that. Register 9. 432 p.m. <laughs> what if I said, uh, Oh, never mind. This is a lot. Okay. I'll be back. So, I got a nacho, y'all. Um, it's got uh, shredded pork and shredded beef. Um, all the toppings. That goes with it. Mm. 
my gout! Now, I don't want it to be too hot, but I'll, just, I'll put it in there for a little bit. I wonder how like loud the microwave is on this. How loud, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, see. There's a magnetic um, inter interference. What? Are you serious? Yeah. You said there's a, ma a magnetic interference? Mm-hmm. Oh, how do you know that? Dad told me. Oh, excuse me, Bob. One time he was on there, he was looking at the video, he was like, what is that? I was editing, and I said, that's the uh, microwave. Oh, she smells delicious. Now, she does smell like an old country buffet. Cinnamon roll, but I guess they all smell the same. You know, it's a cinnamon roll. Smells like cinnamon. Shut up, your time. Let me take a drink because I promise Why are you when I sure? take a bite of this cinnamon roll, I won't be able to taste that tea anymore. Hello, everyone. She's here. She's ready. She's steaming. Mm-hmm. That's because it's cold out here. Oh, and now she's soft. Now she's just, oh. Mommy, you know. You really do know. You can't deny. You, you can't deny. She's not, um, Cinnabon. She really is. No, she's not Cinnabon, obviously. But. Yes, she is. Oh. She's delicious. I can guarantee you the middle is okay. going to be scrumptious. You the like bread it? is very soft. Oh, uh hot. -huh. But. Worth 99 cents? Mm-hmm. More? Is this 99 cents? They have 90 cents cinnamons at the dollar store. No, they don't. I'm assuming they do. No, they don't. Goodness. They move more like a three, four dollar. Well, not like this. Probably not good quality. It's just flaky, like what what can you do? If I just had a little bit more icing. I don't need no more. You already What was that? Panera already stepped out the comfort zone. How? By giving you a nine nine bun. Right. Cause don't nobody that go there, you you act like they on a health kit. Oh my gosh. And they don't eat cinnamon buns, so they have to sell it at a price where they say, Oh, that's un I have to get that because it's only 99 cents. This is delicious. Mine's good too. What's in your stomach? It's the commercial. What? You know what's in your wallet? What's in your stomach? What's in your mouth? What are you eating? <laughs> See, something you got, you got issues, dude. Bad one. Big one. I can't even talk. Mm. It's still hot? Mm-hmm. I literally put it in there 30 seconds ago. I don't know what you mean by it's still hot. It was steaming 30 seconds ago. I'm just saying, it's still hot. Sometimes it can be still hot in the middle. Mm-hmm. I don't gotta do it yet. Ooh, water. That dead water. I'm gonna sleepy. I got all that that shredded beef. Um, who likes Chipotle or Q Double? Which one y'all like the best? They're all gonna say Q Double. I mean Chipotle. I love Chipotle. You ever seen that? No. I ain't been in Chipotle in a minute. 
Long time. I took you there that one time, remember? Mm-hmm. And I went back. Again. You I what? don't like it. I don't like Chipotle. They don't have a variety of stuff. I feel like it's all like... It's like a dough with me. Come build your own slop. It's just like a lot of like, just meat and just like, I don't know. That's not, mm -mm, that's not cute to me. Same thing as uh, Qdoba. I am. Then why you say you like Qdoba? Qdoba's better. I don't like Qdoba still. Qdoba just has more options, I feel like. You want to take a bite? Mm mm. Just take a corner. No. I know you want a corner. Mm mm. I'm not gonna quit. Me too. No, you ain't. You always say that. No, you ain't. You better finish that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So cool. Ooh. I'm full. That burrito was, was a bit much. I'm some glue. Mm-hmm. This I'm, is a bit much. I can't. What? This is a bit much, is what you said. This is a bit much for me too. Derek, no, it's not. You should eat half of it. Then just take the other half and put it um Heat it up later. Put it in your box that he gave you. That's why people don't eat cinnamon rolls. I just ate a, a, a scrumptious, healthy meal. No, you can dog on me. Is it true? You want to talk about it? It's not a healthy meal. What? Like There's a few thousand calories in that. Who? My meal. Oh, you said it wasn't a healthy meal? Mm-mm. Your sandwich? Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, you were talking. I like pinto beans over black beans. I don't know why. I don't like beans. You no know, beans, um, black beans is good. You like it a little bit. I'll Depends on what it's in. I'll tolerate them in chili. And you'll tolerate them in the queso dip. Mm. This is the same thing. Queso cheese dip? dip. Not the yeah, same thing as chili. Yeah, it really is. is. The chicken queso dip? No, it's not. Nowhere near. It's it tastes just like chili. I think maybe it's a sour cream that makes me. No, it doesn't taste like just like chicken. I didn't mean like that. But it's like a cousin. It's probably his brother. There is no. Nowhere near. Chicken and black beans with queso. But it has the same ingredients on the inside. No. Yes, it does. Chili has tomatoes. It's a tomato base. You went from a tomato base to a cheese base. You swore you were my, um, <laughs> Martha Stewart. Yes, yeah. It's just that you went from a nice uh, tomato basil base to a, <laughs> a queso. I said, I'm cheese base. This is gonna be delicious. Oh, so you will sacrifice and eat that part? Mm hmm. I won't be eating that. Anyway. That was good, but I'm tired now. Now I'm gonna get a tub again. Oh, good. Mm hmm. You're yeah. relaxing me. You went in last night? Mm hmm. I didn't hear the bath water run at all. It ran twice, too. Why? I was gonna get cold, I'll put it back on for um, the heat. That's how long you stay in there? And y'all be talking about me. I'm I be working. She's in there long enough that the bath water gets cold. Mm hmm Don't play games, Darius. Okay, but why am I yelled at? When I when that happens mm -mm. I can't. Hmm? The cinnamon roll is in my cheeks right now, not my stomach. What if I have to, what if I pull up the whole thing? What would you do? Smack you. Like if I pulled out the whole like the whole thing I hadn't been eating it, and it was my cheeks. What would that you do? That was nasty. 
But what would you do? Uh, I'd scream. Oh my god, I'd scream. Anyway, I don't even know what I was saying. Don't matter. You got homework to do. Hmm? You got homework to do hmm? while you sitting there looking half moon. And lots of it. Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. What are you doing, Spring Break? Mm-hmm. Are you going on a class trip? Mm-mm. Seniors go on class trips? Next year? I don't know what you're talking about. Do y'all go on a, do seniors go on a class trip? A class trip for their senior year. Where? Like, are you talking about extravagant or like? Yes, like to Disney or maybe down to, some people no. do that. No. Oh, y'all ain't that prestigious. No. Okay, not that prestigious. No. Not that prestigious. No. Oh, y'all ain't working like that? No, we're not kidding you like that. Right, right. We're not bouncing like that. We're not rolling like that. All right. We're not jumping like that. We're not hitting like that. Really? <laughs> we're not flying like that. You're not flying like that? No, we're not tumbling, tumbleweeding like that. We're not. Not tumbleweeding. Not jumping, not hitting. And not to be going to Disney World for every class trip. Where you guys want to go this year? Let's go to Perry. Mm-hmm. No. Them rich schools be doing it. Cute. Right. What what you put me in? <laughs> you ain't in no rich school. Apparently. I have a very nice school. Right. But it's not a rich school. But when I go on class trips, that'd be like I'd be killing it. I promise. Like that'd be killing it. If, I, if we had a, a nice senior trip, I'd be on I'd be on senior board, and I dictate where we go. I'd be saying these are the festivities. We're gonna go here today. And here tomorrow. We're gonna have a nice um, family uh, class dinner. Oh, family! Oh, dinner for friends. Yeah, friends class dinner. You but farewell. Family, family dinner. Family, friends. Family, mom. Those people I grew up with my whole life. I've known Derek Bonzo since kindergarten. Who is Derek Bonzo? You don't even know. Yes, I do. I know my whole. I can. I can tell you who I grew up with. Who from the middle school? From, I mean, from, from, from elementary from school. Elementary school. You say first, first grade. Day. We came in third grade. <clears throat> My Melody? Mm, Cora came later. I met Melody, uh, Melody in middle school, in sixth grade. Um, Stephanie? Stephanie, middle school, and so was Lexi in middle school. So my whole friend group I met in middle school. Where's, Melody. um, where, what's the name? What's his name? The name? The white boy that came over here spent the night. Oh, Braden, uh, middle school. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I met most of them in middle school. I can't name my class though in elementary school. There was um, Joe Champagne, Derek Bunzel, Julia Albright. We don't need to. They don't need to name on be on blast. Oh yeah, it really is, it's on blast. Um, no. Oh, who else? Are you coming? You give them a shout out. Destiny. Why am I th like? There's no particular order. So like, if they're watching this, going, oh my god, he's like my best friend. He like named me fifth. No, no. I just remembered you. Um. Oh my goodness, Jared. There was uh, Jared. I went to, with Nicole. There is. I still friends with her now. But that's what I'm saying. Like you know, I grew up with these people my whole my whole life. I've known them dang near as long as I've known you. Every day for 180 days. Do you understand that, mom? I have them on Snapchat. Like I, they, I, they grew so up. So what are you gonna they're do? In my generation. Okay, so what are you gonna do when they're when you gone and graduate? Yeah, but see, my thing is, I think that people always say, "Oh, you're not gonna talk to them when you get out of high school." Mm -hmm. But sorry, uh, uh, pity the fool. Wait, where, when do you use that like phrase? Like when are you supposed to use that? Like I I'm trying to fool. broaden my. Like what does that mean? Like when do you like give me a scenario? I pity the fool who comes to me and talk craziness. Oh, you pity the fool. Uh -huh. Oh, that's what it's saying. Okay. <laughs> I was good. I thought it was, I pity the fool. The fool? Who? I pity the fool. Who? I pity the fool. Are you saying, <laughs> are you saying the pity the F-O-O-O? Yeah. The F-O-O? The fool. The fool. I pity the fool. No, the fool. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. Yeah. Okay. See, I didn't know that. Learn new things every day. Um, did that work in my context though? What was I gonna say? I don't know. Oh yeah. Well, maybe I can use it. I pity the fool that tells me, oh, you or or that didn't that didn't like. Now that now that you guys are old, you know, you guys don't like 
keep in touch with the people from high school. Now, I bet you there's gonna be a whole bunch of people in the comments saying, Wow, I still talk to my friends from high school. We still kick it, mm -hmm. and she comes mm -hmm. over, mm -hmm. and that of this, that of that. I understand. But there's other people who say, You're never gonna talk to people from your high school. You're never. Sorry that you weren't it, uh, keeping in touch. Now, the, it, the difference is, I have social media, I have all this stuff behind me. You have it too, but now. You weren't you weren't in school when you had it. So now it's not like you guys said, "Oh, we'll keep in touch through Facebook." Now you're older, trying to look, remember, and look up names. Doing this from people from my school, because you don't remember who these people are. So you're trying to say, "Oh, what was her name?" Let me type her in so you right. can find her. But me, I'm gonna be leaving high school, knowing all these people's names. I already have them on Facebook. I already have them on Snapchat. I already have them everywhere. So then later on in life. I can just go to my friends list and say, how are they doing? And they'll be in my feed. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I, I think I, there's going to be a bigger chance that I'm going to keep in touch with the people that I I don't know how, like, the way that I feel now, I don't know how you could, if you felt the same way in high school, I don't know how you could, like, not talk to your friends now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, how could you not have, still keep in contact with your friends? Like, I would be dying to know. What they're doing. What they're doing. In, and what they're like, they're, you don't ever have that. What do you think that they, some people's futures are like gonna be? Do you think your future? I don't is know, right? but one thing scares that scares me is I feel like when I get older, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, that teacher was 95 when I was in when I was in her class. She's probably dead now. For some reason, that just terrifies me. That like I'm talking to someone who's gonna be dead in a couple years. Not a couple, but like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like you that right is, now, my, my teachers, teachers are, are dead. Than me. Your teachers are fried. Mom, your teachers are fried. They're seared. Doesn't that scare you, Mom? They, no. They're I dead. I know. Your teachers are dead, Mom. They're dead. That scares me. Mom, your teachers are dead. There's all of them not dead. They're, they're six feet under, Mom. Or the 98. Mom, your teachers are dead. <laughs> and and that's going to be me going like this. Oh, my God. My teacher's dead. Is all my, Miss Doherty? From Elmish Squish? She's probably already dead. I, no, like she didn't need it, but she's she was very old. How old was she? Like she was, like I didn't know whether I was like at school or out of the nursing home down the street. Like it was, that's how old she was. I promise, <laughs> she was old. There is how like, old was she? Did she tell you her age? Like she didn't. And she didn't like, tell she had you her age. Like that's how old she was. I pr like she had white si like silver hair. Like she was hobbled. Was hobbled. Like she was hot, like she had borderline dementia. Like she, I promise, like she was really old. And I was in elementary school. She's definitely way retired now. She asked me, and she used to live down the street. And I have a feeling she moved out. She used to live down the street from us. Did you look and see if she there? I might go over to her house and knock and see what happens. And oh, she but she really didn't always try me. I don't have an incident, but that's all I remember. She always just tried me on elementary school, and I wasn't the one. I wasn't the one then, I wasn't the one now, and I won't be the one. All well, I know, she really tried me. Anyway, you were saying something about, and then I said something about dead, dead teachers. Futures? Oh, futures of kids. And what do you think your future is? I have no Bright, semi-cloudy, sunny. I have sunny. no idea. And the thing about it is, I'm hoping that rain. I can control my future. I don't want it to be like out of my hands to say, oh, I don't know what to do. I want to make sure that if I have a goal in mind, you know, I want to be able to reach that goal. And if I have, you know, if I want to have a, live a certain lifestyle, I want to be able to do something to get there. And I just say, well, it's out of my hands. Isn't that, if I don't make it one way, I'm going to make it another way. Do you understand what I'm saying? So do you and have... that's talking with Darius one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> what? You <laughs> went crazy. Anyway, like I said, you do have a plan. What do you mean? What is your plan? I don't know right now. It's, uh, you know, it's coming to junior year, and it's kind of like, what am I going to do? And, like, what route do I want to take? So, There's so many different career choices. I could be, I could change? work for myself. No, but I'm, well, actually, actually, I looked up psychiatry salaries that rhymed. And <laughs> she's, she's not as pretty as she used to be. That rhymed, too. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I was going like, how's she not pretty as she used to be? Now, for some reason, I remember psychiatry and psychiatry. 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 You mean you mean psychology or psychiatry? No, psychiatry. She used to be four. She used to be four hundred. 
Of one hundred thousand. And I recently checked, and I feel like she's she's down to two. Like I'm seeing twos. There's it was two. No, it was not. Four hundred thousand, maybe for the stars. I think it's four hundred out. It's like you know it varies if you're like with the, so, with the company or if you have a private practice or something. Two hundred like grand is a lot of money, Darius. I don't think you know how much money I know, it is. I know it's a lot of money, but like four just seems more like comfortable to me. Don't get on me for wanting money, or for wanting to work for my. I already like I can read the comments right now. I'm just like scrolling through in my head, and they're going, "Oh, this kid." So thinking two hundred thousand is not a lot. I do. I think two hundred thousand is a lot. But I'm saying for the amount of years that I'm going to high school, is two hundred thousand worth it? To high school or college? I mean college. If I'm gonna be in college for eight yes, years, there, that's is two hundred thousand worth it? Yes, it is. It is absolutely. That's not your average job. People that make six figures, that is they are they are in the top twelve percent. But see, so you're doing YouTube percentile. I am not talking about me. No, but I'm just saying, but you're doing YouTube. Even before YouTube. But I'm saying. Even before YouTube. But listen, you didn't need school to do YouTube. You did go to school. But I'm saying you didn't need school to do YouTube. There's what YouTube got to do with it. What I'm saying. I'm talking about. there's other forms of. Oh, so you trying to get a YouTube? No. You you're trying to do something on social media. I'm trying to be a star -a that I was born to be a. You don't believe me? No, because oh, okay. you're not doing it because no, you're going to school. Kidding. No, I didn't say I wasn't. I'm just making you know. You can go to school Facts. and still be a star. -a. People go, there's a lot of people who are stars what? and they went to Harvard. Part time. Hmm? A part time star? <laughs> you going to be a part time star? Well, it depends. If I'm a star, then I don't need to be a part time star. Darius. But if I'm just a star, -a, Darius. No, what? no, 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 no. You go to school, you get a degree. Yes. A degree. You graduate before you try to become a star. Now, after you you graduate and you get that degree in your hand, then you figure out if you want to be a star or not. What do you think? Like, what would you do? Like, I'm just asking. Like, this is not gonna happen. But what would you do if, like, before the end of next the senior year, I'm killing it. Like, I'm giving you, I'm giving you an album. Like, I'm giving you a, like a steady paycheck. Like a steady income, like more than what you thought. Like I would be able to at at seventeen years. Like I'm giving you a a music career, and I'm giving you a signed record label. What would you do? Would you, Would you still want me to go to um, a college and get my? I want you to go to college and get your degree. Psychiatry? Yes, I want you to get a degree because your vocals ain't gonna last for too long. You can be a one hit wonder. I'm just saying, but if it looked really promising, you can get, you can be, uh, what? Yeah, What's that man that, that didn't this his his album flop? You can be him. Now he did good for a minute. Don't put Tajik Hall on blast. I wasn't even talking about him, but yeah, him too. Who are you talking about? I was talking about what's the name with the. Oh my god, uh, now I was put on blast. Oh my god, who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Who's that guy that had the uh, album. Mom, <laughs> there are so many <laughs> people you've been talking about. Oh, yeah, that one girl, she was like, she had that one not album. Not Kendrick Lamar. Obviously not, because he's not a one-hit wonder. Uh, What's the other black man that had the hat on? And I said, he's doing really good. Black guy. He did the music award, BET music awards. He was killing it. He made one album. He made a second album. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller. Now, but I promise you, because YouTube people try all the time. Let me say, Note to Self was the best album no, no, no. of 2017. <laughs> and I'll be going, no, it wasn't. Now, I don't, it was called True to Self. True to oh Self. Oh my God, I did a lot. I said Note to Self. It was called True to Self. And they're going to be saying, that album was hitting, I promise. Just like, I, that's, that's what happened with the Chris Brown album. Oh. I said it flopped. And they said, no. Right. I listened to the album and she was killing it. Right. They say you need to re-listen to that song. Yeah. Well, sorry, I'm not listening to the 44 songs. There's so many. I think there has he's more than that. There's so many songs on the album. I'm not going to listen to all of them. Tempo's hitting it. Let me switch up the tempo. Anyway, um. No, I will let you get. Y'all want you to have. No, a but he's still a star. -a. How? He his. I, I just think he, we had such high expectations. Like his first album, he said dance. Right. That's it. He's giving me all of you in exchange for it. Yeah. But he killed it on that album. And I, he probably like thought it was going to happen again. And I, oh my God, I'd be devastated. Like, can you imagine like making it? All like that making work. it. It's your first album. You think like you made, like I'm in. Like I'm in. I'm in. And you make your second album. 
And like I don't know, like it just doesn't work. Like it's just a flop. Like it's just a flop. And like no one was listening to you anymore. I'd scream. Oh my god, I'd scream. I mean <laughs> I'd scream. Well Like I feel like he's in like a um like a zoo or something, like a uh, a museum. And like everyone's like walking in the hallway looking at the exhibits. And he's going like this. And everyone's like looking at something else. Like they're not even paying attention to him. And he's over here telling himself true to self. And no one's looking at it. Like I, that's just how I imagine. That's so sad. That's how you will be. That's so sad and I'd Cause scream. you might have a one hit wonder. But he's not a one hit wonder. He's a one album wonder. Okay, one album wonder. You may have And that. everyone's gonna be going, Bryson, we haven't given him, given him long enough. This might be just a, a slow time for him. He might come back this year doing something still, else. It's disappointing, else. We though. still know. We're, we're not saying that we don't know who Bryson Taylor is and he's just a one album winner. But I, true to self, I didn't see one hit on that thing. One song that I can name off the top of my head. I had nothing. Now, I'm not to tell all, you know, oh, if I haven't heard it, no one has. But I'm just saying. Last thing I heard from him was, you know, I get... Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I don't know if you can take it. For some reason, I love. I feel like I hear my phone vibrating, and I don't know where it is. I saw people going like this. It's right there. Where? Next to the bag, there is. I don't know if you can take it. Yeah, because my phone is getting vibrations. Anyway, um. Oh, you, you Anyway, I feel like I, I haven't heard him since then, but. I don't know. Tell me if I should listen to True to Self. Because I tried. I think I, I... What I do is I go to an album and I press shuffle a few times. And if I haven't heard it by the third time and I'm not I'm not doing this, you haven't got me. I'll be exiting. I'll be exchanging your album for another one. Now, anyway. Oh, my gosh. Like, And that's how people are going to treat me. And I'm going to be going... <laughs> right. Exactly. They're like that. I'm going to wait. Give me a chance. Right. No, Wait. no, no, no. Everybody say the same thing. Give I'm me a chance. Wait. Wait. Give me the chance. Uh huh. And oh, then no, maybe I should listen get... to this album. Now I feel like when you try to make your own music, like it, like it takes a long time. Especially me trying, like trying to do this all by myself, like making my own music. It's really like time consuming, and you're sensitive about your work. Like I, I once heard Beyonce say, you know, she's an artist and she's sensitive about her music. So when when you spend hours, countless, countless hours making an album and someone doesn't like it, like that hurts. It's like I then have. How do you think Bryce and Taylor feel? I don't feel like no. Most people don't. Re oh, the, most people Brown. don't think about that. They just say, "Oh well, I didn't like the album." So, you which is what I thing. do. Which is what I do. But now, like now that I'm into my like, let's think about everybody's self. I like I know that this, that stuff takes a long time. That that's you putting your artistry into something. You spent hours to make each song. Now he didn't make each song. You know he had a team of people, but you spent all that time make, producing this piece of art. Mm-hmm. And these people are saying, well, I'm not going to give it the time of day. I'll listen to three songs, but that's about it. If I don't like it, that's it. That's what I said. But now that I'm thinking in my right mind, I'll maybe go back just because I feel bad now. I'm oh, I'm not bipolar, but I'll go back and I feel bad now. And I'll listen to all the songs and I'll see if I, if any one of them's hitting. Well, you if got any issues. one of them's hitting and I'll come no, back no, and I'll no, say, no, okay, whatever. You know what? You got issues. And Because I, I, I forgot that I was making my own music and I forgot, like, I was my old self a couple days ago, old self. But now that I've like you know, so you evolved to a, a nice a new one. Now I'm an artist. Yeah, you just said it 20 minutes ago that you didn't want to listen to Chris Brown. It's a flop, and you ain't going back. Now I don't know if I would listen to 44 songs. It's a lot. He put his heart and soul into okay, it. Okay, I'll give you I'll give you about 20 of them, and then I'll take 20, and we'll just see. So you gonna give us a, a review on his songs after the minute? No, <laughs> I'm not giving. Malik listened to all of them, and he said, he said something about all the songs sound the same. I didn't mean to put on blast because they're probably gonna say no, they don't. He said all the songs in the album sound a little similar. I don't know. That's what, he, that's what his conclusion came to. But his date is probably skewed because there were so many songs. Goodness. Now, when I'm in music, like, I'm just... I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't even know what the right thing to do is. Like, because I want to be big before I release my debut album. Because, like, that's what people do. Like, the people say, oh... I had a fan base before I released my first album. Because I don't want to be like six albums in and I get a one hit and then I'm like, and then everyone goes, oh my God, who is this? And they see my archive of when I wasn't killing it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to have six albums in and then everyone knows who I am. Like, Chloe and Halle, they had, they just, they just released their first debut album last week. Mm-hmm. 
and they're killing it on the charts. No, no, they're not. But they're not. But their album's hitting it. They're not killing it on the charts. I think they're like number thirty for like the that's top, good. Top that's good. That's really that's good. That's killing it. But like, no, they won't know. Well, they might. But like, the average Joe is not gonna know who Chloe and Halle are. How come? They were YouTube stars. Mm. Beyonce worked with now, them. Now YouTube stars, no, no one really. Mm, they did covers, and that was cute. It was. Um, but most people are gonna know them from Grownish. Most people are gonna know from Grownish. Beyonce, she's. But no one really knows that she signed them. Yeah, they do. But I, I don't do. know what she signed them to. I'm confused if she has like a record label or. I know Beyonce have, has a record label. I know they have title. Beyonce has a record label. Does she? Yes. Look it up. Okay, Google. Don't you doesn't work with you? Ew, did it work? It was on. No, it didn't. Just making sure. Did you know someone bit Beyonce? Oh my god. <laughs> I was in. I was in. I don't know what. I don't even know the story. But like, every time I walk in. Because everyone knows I love Beyonce. So everyone, every time I walk into my AP Lane class, they say, Darius, you know someone bit Beyonce. And I thought they were joking. And I looked it up. And the, they said the biggest mystery of 2018 so far is who bit Beyonce. Like somebody bit her. Who? Like somebody took a, a chunk out of Beyonce. I don't know, but I wanted to be that person. Oh, y'all nasty. Okay, Google. Who wants to bite somebody? Who bit Beyonce? Here are some matching news articles. See, look at all these people saying that they. She's okay. So apparently it's Lena Dunham, and she denies it because everyone's talking about so she be, be Beyonce, and she doesn't know what to do. One's bitten, Beyonce turns the other cheek. I don't even know what happened, but people are over here asking Tiffany Haddish, is it Haddish? Haddish? Whatever. They're talking about asking her some who bit Beyonce. I think it's this is the same actress. Okay, Google. Who's Lena Dunham? According to Wikipedia, she's an actress. That's what I thought. So apparently, remember how I told you back then, back before, about Tiffany going to Beyonce's party, and there was an actress who was talking to Jay Z. Okay. And that's why Beyonce was talking some uh signing on disclosure. Tiffany? Yeah. In the song, right? I think this is the actress. And apparently she bit Beyonce. Now I don't know uh, Is you making this what's up going then? on? Like, cause I I'm I just feel like some You know this can spread. Yeah. Rumors and, all and they'll the get world. back Yeah, okay. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. But I feel like that's the same actress. Cause they were they were asking Tiffany about this actress at the party. Apparently it was at the same party who Somebody bit. I don't know. But I know one thing. You was talking about something about uh, Tiffany Haddon and um, Beyonce and with the uh, Tiffany with the with the song stuff. One of my subscribers, I talked to them. Her daughter was so obsessed with that story. She went go looking it up and been obsessed with that, following that line, going to Tiffany Haddon's uh, thing and trying to get Beyonce's song. Mm -hmm. And then they playing it over and over again and trying to hear what she was hearing. I'm like, oh, you gotta understand that. When you're talking to people, it sends an impact through no, the world. No, I promise someone will be Beyonce. The hashtag is viral. The hashtag is viral. It says who bit Beyonce. No, it's, okay. no, the hashtag is who bit B. They killed it. They gave me a, a nice, a nice, um, a nice rhyme. This is who bit B. 2018. Like everyone's like who bit Beyonce. Like Beyonce is so iconic. Like when you just have people talking about oh, you constantly. Oh my God, Darius. Mom. Enough of and Beyonce. Beyonce has not once said a word about any of this. Like Beyonce's never come out and said anything. These people are just she obsessed. Don't have to. People, I know she doesn't have to. She, people are just obsessed. There's like who like people are starting hashtags and Beyonce like I like Beyonce doesn't say like you, can you imagine like she doesn't say anything on the topics at all. Like she knows this stuff is happening. She's going. I'll let them talk. I don't know. Like she doesn't know what to do. Would you be like that? What type of uh, what type of artist would you be? And she killed cause she cause the the only way she said something was through a song. And yeah. it was encoded. Right. It was embedded. Mom, she killed it. She said, Tiffany. Mom, you know she killed it. Okay, Darius. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just so iconic. And I'm going to see her. Chicago. Yeah, with your own money. Hmm? With your own money that you get paid from YouTube. Hmm? Hmm? What? The money that you got paid from YouTube, you can go see her. And I'm also going to La Palooza. Yep. With your own money. Oh my gosh. Better be getting on YouTube. <laughs> you what, what? I said I better be getting on YouTube. You better be getting on YouTube. Yeah, because... I know. 
And you know what? You better be uh, sitting up there with your music. You making your songs. You've been making your songs for the past five weeks, five days. <sighs> I know, but I just don't know how it's going to fare on the... Now you want to This is the no, sympathy. Because you doubt this yourself. is the sympathy no, for y'all. No, because you doubt yourself. Like, yeah, you doubt yourself. So and that's gonna be. The show. And I'm doing this all on my own. I don't have a team. I don't have producers. I don't have a record label. This is literally me in my room. Yeah. Put, put <laughs> Where's my violin, y'all? This is me in my room making these from scratch. From scratch. From okay, the you're ground can I, can I, can I no, you can't get a sneak peek. <laughs> but all, all you need to know is just wait. Like I'm doing it. I will give what you. What is it about? I can't tell you that either. I'm just gonna give you the best that I can when the promo comes out. Oh my god! Like I'm just gonna do the best that I can. Me, be, remember everything before you say a word, before you judge it. Just remember, I did all this by myself. This is the first time I'm ever even trying any of this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I want my 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 goal is to like I don't want to ruin anything. But I want like, I want to release an EP. What's EP? It's like a um, a small mini album, five songs. Okay. Mm. And I want to release like an interlude, like a um, an interlude's like kind of like a mini song. That's like I've explained this to you, like for forty five seconds or something small. So I want to release the inter to interlude first on YouTube, and that's gonna basically be my promo. And I'm trying to put a video to that. And obviously, releasing things on YouTube, you're gonna need like a video. And I don't know what to do with the videos, but. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna release this small like, interlude, um, and then what's the issue? I wonder how you gonna do all this. And then I'm gonna. Are you doing your stuff in the studios? Eventually, cause you gonna have to record it, right? Cause it ain't gonna sound right. It's a hard night life for us. What do you mean? Are you going studio time? Are you gonna I'll do? I'll be using your mic. You gonna use an ASMR, ASMR mic? mic for us? It's an ASMR mic for us. That's the best quality we have. Whatever. And I'm. I don't know my, how you gonna sound. My mom's over here making, trying to make me use my headphones, and I'll never forget. She said, "Why can't you use headphones?" Like I'm over here, like I'm be over here doing this, <laughs> singing in my know. headphones. I don't know about all that stuff. I don't know about that life. Cause you don't believe in me. I what that mean? If you could blow with some headphones, then you you rocking. Mom, it doesn't have to do with the way I sing. Mom, what do you mean if you could blow with some headphones? Okay, you listen to a song. Right. Where they're, they're you think Beyonce recording with some... But Beyonce will be recording with some headphones. You think she still sound good? She would sound good. Mom, you don't... It's not... I don't think you understand what, what I'm saying. It's not about the way... The, the How good you sound. It's about... The quality. The quality of the sound. If I'm muffled, but I know your quality gonna be um, uh, your quality gonna be bad with an ASMR video. Hmm. A ASMR uh mic. Which well, is a I don't know. I don't know what the mic's gonna be like, and my thing is, I just think that I, I don't know what. See, I don't this have any. Be, I don't have any knowledge of any of this. This, this is, is gonna be a rough ghetto, project. It's gonna be a ghetto. This is gonna be a ghettoified EP. Right. Now, but I wanted to make it as clean as possible. Are you putting it on can. iTunes? I'm probably gonna put it on SoundCloud. I'm not iTunes ready yet. I'm really not. Well, at least you're honest. But it's okay. I'm not anything ready yet, Mom. This is hard. Like, it's so surreal. Like, I didn't think, like, about this. I was just thinking, oh, like, I want to do music. And now that it's happening, it's so, like, I've been contemplating life choices. Like, it's so real. Like, I'm, Mom, I'm by myself doing all this. This That's hard. Mom, can you imagine making an album? Like, you have, I'm making... I'm making I don't think these be songs hard. from scratch. Yeah. I have to make the entire, like, I didn't think about the process that goes to, I have to make everything. The whole track, I need to make the lyrics for the song. I need to make the melody for the song. Oh, yeah, I have to make a, a video for the song. I have to record the song. You making a video? No. I can't make a video video, but I don't want the video to be stagnant. This is a picture of me like this. And it's just playing the song. I don't want that. I want something there. I don't need to have my promo out. I need to do the editing for the promo. The promo, she has to be hot. There is. And I don't know when Where this song is going to be Where are you going to find the time to do all this? I don't know. I have spring break. I'm going to hopefully do a couple songs over spring break. So spring break, you're going to be working hard. And by a couple songs, I mean a few songs that I'm going to end up scratching later and saying I don't like it. Because there's already a song now that I had my first one. And I thought it was cute. I made a verse to it. And the chorus, she's killing it. She's the course she's hitting. 
and so is the verse, but not together. And now I'm shook. So can you make it in two separate songs? That's what I did. So I cut out the, cur the chorus, and now I still I have one verse and one chorus, but now I need to make a verse for one chorus and a chorus for that verse, for the other verse. And I just don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know. Like, it's uh, like I have yet to find something that works with the verse that I made. Because the, the chorus that I have is hitting it too hard. Like, she's there. She's on 100. To you? To me. Bryson Tiller thought the same thing. Like, she's killing it. On his second album. And I'm going to tell you the music that I'm, he that released I'm it. into. Like, I feel, 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 feel like people are going, what kind of music What are your style? Be? What's your style? So it's not going to be R&B. Sorry, oh, guys. you lost me there. It's not going to be R&B. What if I said, it's going to be Screamo, okay? Um, <laughs> do you know what Screamo is? Do you know what Screamo is? I hate you! What? Well, I don't know if it's screaming I hate you. Oh. But yes, they're screaming. <laughs> it's like that. Um, what if I said, yeah, it's going to be Screamo. Um, tune in. No, it's not Screamo. But it's kind of like, I like the music that's like, where it's, you know, whatever in the beginning. And the chorus is... 80% Can you give me a sample? No, I can't. Not of yours, but somebody else's that you would do. Oh, okay. Just give me a sample. It's like 80% instrumental and like 20% vocals in the chorus part. Who, who said music like that? So that's the type of music I'm, I like listening to. Um, Are they hitting on something? Are they clapped? Oh, what do you mean are they clapped? I'm trying to I'm find I'm saying, are they hitting on something? Have they even made the charts? Have any of those people made charts? Yes. When? Do I know him? How long have we been talking? I don't know. <laughs> and it cut off. Now I hate this. Let's finish this video. I I hate the chorus of the song or the verse. I like the chorus. It's till it's over by Anderson Park. Wait, right here. That's not me, come on. But wait, I like the, the part right here. I'm trying to get you not copyrighted. Right here. Okay. So he, you see, he's singing. He's saying, "I'm gonna ride it till it's over." And then it, like, but yeah. it's instrumental. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I meant. That's the balance that I that I have in mind for my EP. That's the kind of music that I just recently started listening. Not recently. It's been about two years that I've been into that type of music. Like my music variety is huge. I listen to so many different artists. Now, you don't like. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you what that move was. Well, you I never like. You never like my. Did music. you just switch your hair behind huh? your ear? No, no. What? But you never like my music, though. Who? So you. Whenever I play something in the car, you say, what is this? No. Or anything with an instrumental like that, you always go, well, what is this? And Dad does the same thing. Dad, I like. I know that song because it was in on radio. You heard it on the radio? Uh-huh. Oh, that's weird. Did I? No. You heard it from me. Oh. And on the charts? No, I don't think so. Then it's, it's on a, an Apple commercial. It's a and they were killing it on the Apple commercial. Oh, and that's was, probably why I know it's it um, That's probably why I know it's It was, wrong. uh... What's her name? Her name is, um, goodness. FKA Twigs. Mm. And I didn't even know it was her, but she's in the commercial. She's dancing. And she's giving me, like, the, the room was moving. She was killing it. She said, I'm gonna ride it till it's over. Boop, 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 Can you get a dance like that off of that? Boop, 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 I'm gonna ride. What do you mean? You can dance in the club with that. Do you think? It would have to be a remix. Right. Because the verse is not here. Are they going to be able to remix some of your stuff? The thing about it is you can't really remix a song like that I already have. Because it's like, it already, remixing basically just means let's take a song that's like R&B or something slow and then let's make it where it has a heavy instrumental chorus. Mm. And then we take, you know, chunks of your singing and then we do that or whatever. But with my, the songs that I'm going to be making or the songs like that that I could just play, he can't really remix. Because it already has, you know, that kind of, you know, beat. Okay, that's enough. So yeah, um, I don't know if I really should have announced my EP because what if they said where is it? All of a sudden it's September. The other bag on the floor. Oh, all of a sudden it's September, and I. When is it coming out? I don't know. I'm not giving a deadline. Um, 
Some people have deadlines, Darius. I want That's to. The I want to be. I want to hustle, and I want to have it out by. Um. End of June. No, middle June. When I get out of school, I want it to be out. Darius, and you practicing all this stuff. What are you doing about school? Mom, when I get back from spring break, I hope you know it's a breeze. I'm done with school, basically. You took all your tests? No, my, my AP exams are after break. So I, all I have to do is do those AP exams in the beginning of May. And that's it. And all my classes are, we're going to be literally making soap. Like that's, in my physics class we're making, I mean chemistry we're making soap. That you're going to be working home? Yeah. I will be using that. You said you won't be I using I won't be. Mom, I'm not trying in my to chemistry itch. we're making soap. Uh, Remember that man made me some soap from your daddy? And he was from the devil? Not on my watch. Remember he was from the devil? He wasn't from the devil there. He killed the people out in the hotel. Oh, Sheridan. same thing. And then he shot himself. And I had soap of his in my house. And that soap would have been getting thrown in the yard. Did you use it? I did use it. I used to take my baths with it. Oh, you used it before you knew? Mm-hmm. Would you have used it after you knew if you still had it? No. I would have thrown it away. He used to make me soaps all the time. What do you mean all the time? Like this he is sent them home to your dad. He's like, here, I'm, this is the soap I made. You can take some home to your wife. I oh my god, I today to, we had a fire. I used uh, to wash you up with a, a fire drill and I almost didn't go. That's probably why you crazy. Oh, mm -hmm. I used to wash you up with it. Who's crazy? Because it, it no, ain't me. Bye, bye. I used to wash you up with it. But here, I used to use this so I can believe that. Oh my god, we had a fire drill today and I almost screamed. I didn't want to leave. Because that's what happens when they, when they do a, when they do a pull the fire What you mean you didn't want to leave? I didn't want to leave the building. What did I tell you? Because I'm mad. What did I tell you if the, the fire alarm go off? I don't remember what Be you said. Be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, I was. I was doing this. And everybody else was too. Recording on Snapchat. Going, I got you. <laughs> they said, I got you a camera if you want to try something. They lying. You lying. But I'm serious. I was scared. I was going, oh my God. I was looking around. You thought somebody had a gun? No, but I'm just saying because that's what they do. They pull the fire alarm. So it's a it's a ruckus. So everyone gets it's trying to get out. No, but it, this is a drill. But still, like that's why I wasn't really scared because my teacher was going, oh, everyone head out, you know. But she was going, I'd scream. I promise you, I'd scream. I'd jump out the window, though. I'd jump out the window. I wouldn't be going in the hallway. Then you'd be burning. Mm. <laughs> I, I was screaming is all I know. I was going, oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Because I really am not the one. Oh, well. Right. Anyways, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone, anyone everyone, everyone wants to know what your girl's doing. On the channel. Bathroom. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone, everyone. Know what your girl is doing on the channel with the fam bam. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed. Peace. Peace. Because I'm riding to this over. Bu, 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 bu. There's, I hope you have music that sound like his. It's like you a copy. No, it's not going to sound like his.